How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about making your own syntax errors in JavaScript. And by this I mean um, not actually writing bad code but instead making instances of the syntax error class. So this way you have your own little syntax error objects to use in your program. We can make one of these and then assign it to a to a variable. So for example we can say let uh, my syntax error equal to a new syntax error. So we're calling the syntax error constructor making a new instance of syntax error. This is a realistic um, constructor and class in uh, the major browsers so this is a real thing right here. Now here we can just pass in as the first parameter the the message or the description of that syntax error. For example, um, let's just say, um, how's it going? And we can just put that right there. So that is our own little custom message for our custom syntax error. Obviously not very useful and not very descriptive. Now we can end that off right there. Now I've got our own syntax error created and assigned to the my syntax error variable. Now we can call this and throw this syntax error um, just like this. So we can say throw my syntax error. We can save this and then go in the browser and see how it looks. So we'll go inside here and we can just refresh the browser and we get uncaught syntax error. How's it going? So there's that little custom syntax error um, gone to work. Now obviously we see here no actual error has occurred. All this code is valid. There has been no real syntax error. Instead, we're making our own little custom one that serves virtually no purpose. Now we can also wrap this in a in a try catch block. For example, we can say uh, try and put that inside there. And then we can just say catch and put the e error object inside there. Now here we can say console.log, um, maybe we'll just say an error has occurred during that operation. It was a syntax error. And we can also just log out the e.message. And that right there should be how's it going up inside there. So with this code right here, we're throwing the syntax error it's guaranteed to happen, so we should see this code being ran um, right there. So we can save this one, go in the browser, refresh one last time, and we see an error has occurred, blah, 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 and then how's it going? So this obviously isn't too useful. I'm not sure where you want to use this. Maybe if you're making your own, um, making your own IDE or your own code runner, this might come in handy. But right now, I can't think of any, any proper use cases to use this syntax error constructor. But it's a bit of fun. I found it on the Mozilla, um, uh, what do you call it? The Mozilla reference documentation. I was reading one day. I found this. I thought, okay, let's make a video on it. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.